G'day everybody, it's me again. I haven't heard from you for a while because I've been busy working, mucking around with stuff, talking shit to everybody online, and uh, playing flybacks like usual. Um, the weather has gotten atrocious, so there's uh, it's gone from hot to cold, so there's no more outdoor stuff. It's too cold, too wet. I'm stuck inside again. But anyway, I bought, built this quasi-resonant uh, flyback driver some time ago, but I've improved it a little bit. Um, it's much more uh, robust now. It'll even drive these little uh, FGA 25 IGBTs, no problem at all. You have seen a video where I ran that big flyback with it, but uh, today I'm just running a little normal TV size flyback um, to baby. Um, uh, we've got about 8 turns on there. And, uh, what is it? About 0.75 microfarads at 600 or 500 volts. Um, polypropylene uh, capacitors there, very important that they're polyprops. Um, the other ones don't like it. I even tried an MMC of uh, MKPs. They didn't like it either. They just got hot and started smelling like they're about to blow up in my face. So I gave up on that idea. Um, anyway, enough waffling. I'll show you some arcs, show you some waveforms. Um, I'll fire this up. You can see it's uh, arcing there. The square wave does stay very, very, very square. Um, this is my new scope as well, by the way, guys. It's a nice uh, digital storage uh, Tektronics. But yeah, that square wave stays nice and square. There's a little bit of ringing, tiny bit of ringing on the off, but not, not enough to worry about. It doesn't hurt anybody. And uh, yeah, uh, high voltage rules. This is the circuit that I gave you, buddy. And I think a high voltage projects was looking for a circuit to run flybacks reliably too. There's only 24 volts input, and it will get very, very nasty, and it will keep stretching out. In fact, it will keep stretching out further than I'm willing to without a chicken stick because that might flash over and might be nasty. Uh, maximum current draw is about 10 amps, and the two IGBTs handle that no problem at all. Obviously, the smaller the arc, the uh, less the current draw. But, like your TV the other day, uh, high voltage rules, this is quasi resonant, so it will. It will get a lot of power out of a uh, relatively little bit of input. And as you can see, I'm cooking that lead there. That really needs to be on a on a jumper lead. Um, negligible heat in the IGBT is not enough to worry about at all. That heat sink without a fan, yeah, it's pulling a bit of heat, but no problem for them at all. And uh, yeah, thought you might find that interesting, fellas. I know a few people like the arcs, and a few people uh, have asked me for circuits to build these arcs. It's actually from a uh, circuit that Pete Ritchie gave me. Yeah, I've modified it for my own uses, like usual. Um, I've added a uh, MOSFET driver in there. It's just triple five timer, MOSFET driver, and of course your gate resistors and diodes. Um, just got a cap there as a bit of a uh, a bit of a filter. Whoops! There I go with the zoom. Anyway, that's it for today. Maybe a little bit more arcage, a little bit more square wave action. Nice and square, aren't they? MOSFET drivers make a big difference, fellas. Big difference. Like I said, don't really want to push that too far with just a screwdriver. It's a bit dangerous. I'll get my PVC chicken stick out and then we'll try exactly how far it can go. Thanks for watching.